It's been three years with the sweep. How do y'all feel? Sober. Sober? <laughs> Juan's not sober. Man, what are you talking about? I'm lit as hell. <laughs> I just barely joined the Today autism trend. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, though you are, you are one of the most autistic people of us. Yeah, <laughs> who are you? Well, if Asperger's was still a thing, you probably could be on that spectrum at least. Ask Chris Chan. Oh no, we don't want to ask him. <laughs> no, don't ask Chris. <laughs> you want to talk about right Chris now. Chan, Efren? <laughs> hey, no, no, we we can't get that into this this early. What? Nah, it's too soon. Yeah, things just barely happen right now. Let 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 things just settle for now. We'll yeah, get back we'll, to it. We'll talk about it when I when we bring up my news. Okay. Yeah. Do you have like a news section now? Daddy White trying to eat his Snickers. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you're trying to eat that inch and a half chub? <laughs> <laughs> this fun size Snickers. I was joking with uh, people in the workplace. I was like, what if when the big bosses come, I'm like, put it here. And I have my hand right next to my crotch, like ready to shake their hand. <laughs> Would they still shake my hand? Like, you know, no, no, it'd be even funnier is that they go in for the handshake, they kind of cup the balls, then come up. You know, well, that's a promotion, right there. <laughs> yeah. bro. I'm not you drunk enough for this. You just subscribe when people first come into uh, the wrestling. I ain't even drunk uh, at all. <laughs> bro, you can't even drink. Environment. I know. You well, have that's to, rough, man. Uh, yeah. Shake me, I know. Randy Orton's hand, and he literally puts his hand in his crotch. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what Randy Orton does to new writers. Oh, okay, okay. So that's like a hazing type thing. Yeah, you 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 have to blow Randy Orton to work at WWE. I wonder what you got to do for Chris Jericho. Listen to his damn album. <laughs> There's gonna be a not episode about our experience at AEW. Have a no, room. but honestly though, let, let's let's be honest. Does anyone actually like Chris Jericho's music? Uh, I like two of his songs. No, okay, for a little bit there, back in like oh, let's say oh five, oh really? six, they were kind of drinking the juice a little bit on his band, mm-hmm. and it was kind of whatever. Did you listen to Judas? Man, I don't listen to shit. Oh, um, <laughs> this is a good one. This is his new theme for AEW. That's like listening to. John Cena's rap album. Who listened to that damn thing? <laughs> Wait, hold on, guys. <laughs> Let's back it up here. John Cena is one of the best white rap... No, I'm trying. Yeah, get out of here. Young Gravy's way better. Young Gravy's very good. I can't wait to see him in concert. Are you going to see him in concert? January. Yeah. Who's he coming with? Himself. I wish he was Baby No Money, but he won't be. Wait, so Baby No Money doesn't... Okay, that is, that's just someone else, right? Yeah, it's a different rapper. Okay, because I know that Baby No Money, and then you hear, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, because they make a lot of songs together, and those yeah. are my favorite songs when they're both together. But actually, a lot of new rappers are getting pretty good. There's another one called uh, Internet Money. Mm-hmm. That dude's actually really good. It's like yeah. a fat white guy. Oh, R.I.P. to Little Loaded, and I thought his name was Little Load. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm all about Lil Nas X. He Lil Nas X is pretty good, yeah. I like how he's unabashful about being like, yeah, I lied. I don't sing country, but I got in on the scene. <laughs> and rest in peace, little Indian boy. He got shot up in his car uh, outside of a hotel that he was um, seeing a girl at. He got shot up while he was on Instagram Live. I'm you know what? Sure. I, honestly, uh, do, we have, do we have a little bit of audio or video recording of that? Uh, no, because it, it YouTube will take it down. Oh, well, no. Okay. And... <laughs> It sucks, man, that these rappers have to have to be like that. You, it doesn't need to be. You can like rap that. without gangbanging. <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. But you're just a white person, though. You're just a regular. Well, white I, I think some of it has to be like the persona of rapping, and uh, that's why, like the white rappers, like Little Dicky, you know, Young Gravy, all them, like they rap with no gang affiliation. They rap for fun. They're funny mm-hmm. rappers, and they're in their somewhat own genre of music. You know how many people. Especially women, especially on dating apps, when I when they ask me what music I listen to, and I'm like, I listen to classic rock and comedic rap. They always do comedic rap, question mark. Yes, rap that's funny. Well, that's the thing. That's the problem with rap. Rap doesn't have genres like, like rock has like classic rock. Well, they do. All that stuff. They have but, like West Coast rap, East Coast rap, yeah, but New Age. For the main people, they yeah. only know it as everything is rap, hip hop, that's yeah. it. Oh, you're saying like the people that only been listening to rap maybe one or two. Well, the years. mainstream would be like rap, hip hop. Yeah, like your Drake and then and if stuff you like start that. singing more, they're like, oh, well, now you kind of moved over to R and B. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I get what you mean because. Uh, but you know, we're all kind of older, so I don't know what the young kids do these days. <laughs> well, you guys are old. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> it do be busting in here though. Like I said, you guys are the embodiment of 2016. <laughs> okay, 2016. Oh, God. How old were you in 2016? Hmm? I think I was 18. 19. Oh, God. We yeah. started our podcast, I think, in 2017. 2018. Yeah. 
Th- it's the three year anniversary, whatever but that is. That sort of discount is 26 in, and you guys haven't changed your sense of humor. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming. Well, that's why we brought you. We needed more spur. Hmm? Yeah. That's why we brought you on. No, I'm more of a new uh, a new millennia. Man, you got the, you're the only one in here that's not millennial. What year were you born? 97. Yeah, so you're Gen, what, Gen Z? Z? Yeah. yeah. Man, it's really weird. Well, how? The way I see it is if you sort of remember 9-11 and the impact, then you fall in the millennial court. So yeah, I'm guessing or... you don't remember 9-11. You were, no. what, six at the time? Four. Yeah. So All I remember cool. is just leaving early, but I have no recollection of it. That shit was no scary, by the way. Was. Yeah, I was in like No, no see, this is how... So, from what I remember, I was in the fifth grade at the time. Yeah. And, like, I just remember it happening, and I was in the portables, and the teachers come in and start saying, like, oh, my God, it, 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 this just happened. And, you know, we're young. I didn't really know what was going on. And then they I were thought like, it was going to be, like, another well, what are the Twin Towers? We were like, yeah, what are the Twin Towers? And they started showing it. And then I remember that everybody came... And picked up their kids, and my mom didn't come pick me up, obviously. Mm. You no, know, I actually talked about it on another Yikes. podcast. <laughs> yes, my mom didn't come pick me up. But actually, I think the most daunting thing was for at least like about a month or two, there were no planes in the skies, and I would catch the bus, so I'd be in downtown Dallas mm. almost every day. Wait, did you ever uh, get on a plane pre-9-11? Uh, uh, I got on a plane right before. For 9-11. Okay, so you never experienced, like, the whole easiness on getting into a plane, because uh, I, yeah. I heard it was easier back then. Oh, yeah. There's no TSA. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, but uh, basically in downtown Dallas, actually, here's the weird part. So everyone thought that the terrorists were going to attack their buildings. Uh-huh. So downtown Dallas was nothing but full police, and you know the big green building over here? Because yeah. police were just surrounded it. That's just all it was. Police everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, it makes sense. If New York got attacked, you would think they might attack other major cities. And Dallas is yeah. a big one. Los Angeles, Dallas, New York. Yeah, because at that time I was... Actually, I just turned 11 because my birthday is actually on the 27th of August, which is this mm-hmm. month. And I only just turned 11 when this happened because uh, September 11th is my sister's birthday. Ah. Uh, so, yeah. Happy uh, early 20th anniversary, as I would say it. Yeah, happy 31 to me. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Well, uh, let's go ahead and play the intro. You're listening to The Sweep. Never swallowed a big mouth of cum. What's the conversation, sorry? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, did you ever do my intro? No. It's a show about nothing and a podcast about anything. How do you break, break food? food? Exactly. Where your grandma at? That was a vape. I take my dumb. Sit back and relax as we assault your mind through the wonderful world of YouTube. I think cum dies after four weeks. He's like, Anthony, yeah, but- Why would I say anything <laughs> is a women's that's retarded? <laughs> Well, I'm drinking uh, pina coladas, and then... I'm waiting for my drink. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He started out with uh, Smirnoff Bomb Pop, red, white, and blue, uh, which is a new flavor, and now (laughs) he's going to drink a uh, Slippery Nipple, and then Juan had a bubblegum shot, and... Which is more gay. (laughs) I mean, I am gay. A lot of Jack Daniels honey. Dude, that shit is delicious. It really do be. Yeah. And then Anthony is drinking his medicine. The yes, doctor I'm on uh, muscle relaxers, stomach medicine, and diet Dr. Pepper. The doctor said he went to 30 way too fast. He was supposed to slow it down. And uh, now he has to suffer the consequences of being old as dirt. Yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. It's funny. My sister told me, she was like, our family's good up to about 30. <laughs> up to about 30. And right when 30 hit for me, all my shit fucked up. Oh, yeah, there's a good comparison. This girl's ass is about as big as your sister's. Well, also, my sister's actually lost a bunch of weight. She had that gastric surgery. So. No. Sad. Yeah. I'll pray for her. Yeah, for real. So, Efren. Efren, Efren. That ain't Efren, nobody. Stop. <laughs> I cut out so much of that in the last podcast. <laughs> so, we went to Anime Matsuri. Yes, sir. Left these plebes behind. No. Uh-huh. Got to meet Nick Ricada. Uh-huh. Yellow Flash. Yes. That Star Wars girl. Uh-huh. Why I got to meet Vic? Yeah, you. Well, I did enjoy you for the first day of meeting Vic. Oh man, and you met Drexel. He looked like he was about to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that Drexel, dude is so big. Drexel is a large individual, and his voice is just as raspy. And most likely, voice. fuck Nick's wife. No, <laughs> I didn't even have time to tell Nick. Uh, I want to tell Nick about how you say that every like three months he's done for. But this oh, time man. he is over. No, he's not. He wasn't we, over the other two. We times. just figured other out five his chat is going against him, saying that Drexel <laughs> fucked Nick Ricada's wife, 
and uh, PPP was talking about it. <laughs> oh, was he not wearing his uh, appropriate PPE over there? What was of going on? Of course, PPP was talking about it. PPP isn't funny. He has to make up content. Yeah, actually, that was hilarious because I, I definitely forgot about that last podcast. Listening to it, <laughs> what you said about what about this time? What about this time? Oh, it's really over, Don. <laughs> yeah, this time, it's actually it's over. not. It's <laughs> I don't think so either. You know what? You got to realize when someone almost in a way where they're more sufficient on cancel culture or whatever yeah. can't really touch Well, it's them. not really cancel culture. I'm just waiting for the train to crash. Well, is that's it? the thing. It's all cancel culture. That's what no, it is. No, that, that's not cancel culture. You're not cancel culture. Uh-huh. Well, then I would describe it as I'm waiting for a train wreck to happen. I'm not causing the train wreck. Right. Yeah. It's like that's that uh, me with the guy with the train and I'm just watching and there's no switch. Well, it's like this. Uh-huh. He's on a level... That's not. He is on a good high. level. Yeah. He's on a good level. He's not on a Joe Rogan level. Mm-hmm. Joe Rogan pretty much do whatever the fuck he wants. No oh, one can cancel his ass. Did you listen to? Uh, yeah, Seth Cole. The yeah, guy that was that actually really funny. Had talking about Seth. Or Joe that was Rogan. actually pretty funny. <laughs> I haven't listened to that, but man, he, he said if I was on the Joe Rogan podcast, I'll talk about naked field practice. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It, it's it's crazy though. Like when people actually, in a way, like straight up face it head on oh. when people are trying to get them off something. Mm-hmm. Or trying to give them backlash for something that happened, and then they face it head on instead of pussying about it. Uh-huh. It actually is kind of funny how it doesn't really phase them how they how these people intend it to do. No, I got you. And they kind of just barrel through it. No, yeah, I got you. I got you. But uh, if anything comes around where Drexel did uh, screw Nick's wife, I'm going to assume it happened when uh, Nick put on his kawaii outfit, and that's most of the time. I don't happened. think that would affect the show. Drex. And Nick are best friends. Okay. So is Johnny and... I'm Johnny's... Johnny and jo- Mark. I'm Johnny's best friend. <laughs> oh, Nick's my best friend. I can't sleep with you. That's a room reference right there. Not, yep. not, not the best, not the best uh, acting, but you know. Well, I'm Daddy White. Daddy White. Gonna roll off the mic. I'm danger, danger, danger. Oh, harder, Daddy. I don't know. My booty wet now, so whatever you want. Bro, go white. What the fuck? FNFM. What if a retard was gay? If I didn't. My foot! My foot! Sponsored by Efren. Go to kiwifarms.com slash Efren to start your free trial. <laughs> the nickname that you gave me. But okay. I'll, I'll just stick with that. And? Pill pop and chill. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pill pop and chill? <laughs> no. Pill pop and El Pollo Loco. <laughs> you know what the homies call me in the streets, B? They call me El Pollo Loco. I don't know what that shit mean, but that shit sound. Did you show the bottom of your ass cheeks though? More like a broke back bitch right now. <laughs> I'm Trap Lover 69. I am known by many names Mountain Slayer, Thunder Lion, the Chocolate Axe. But you, you may call me Trap Lover 69. Oh, go suck a dick! So anyways, how was y'all experience? It looked fun. I'm not going to lie. It actually, out of any con that you've been to, and I've seen pictures and things mm-hmm. that you've done, that actually looked like the best one. Opening ceremonies was awful. <laughs> but besides that, everything yeah, was, was pretty good. Like, everything looked legit. Like, everything looked fun. Uh, it looked to be somewhat decently planned out. Because, mm-hmm. you know, some of these cons can be some shit. Yeah. Uh, the biggest thing was a lot of people complained about um, events being canceled or moved or everything, but... That happens at all kinds. Yeah. I mean, if you go to enough of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, Vic Mignogna's panel, every single day, he had one every day. They were all mm-hmm. great. Nick's was great. What's funny is that the last Vic Mignogna one, I got to sit next to Yellow Flash. And since he was at the Vic one, I knew what he looked like. So I was like, hey, you're famous, aren't you? And he's like, no. I was Did like, he have his outfit No, all? I know you. No, he just he was uh, dressed up as an Akatsuki. Uh, oh, no. But what I'm trying to say is he still had his outfit on and didn't change the Yeah, he didn't change clothes. Oh, okay. I got you. I got yeah. you. And his girlfriend was sitting next to him. Mm-hmm. Ugly, by the way. Uh, Yellow Flash girlfriend's ugly. Sorry. I mean, she's probably pretty in her own way. She's not. Maybe pretty personality. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she could have a pretty body. Who knows? No. Oh, man. <laughs> not even I don't know. Face. I didn't see her. I, I have no idea. I'm just trying to help. No, no. And I really had a, uh, a gamer moment, but I'm like, no, nah, I better not say it. Stop talking about gator. <laughs> I said gamer moment. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you said gayer moment. <laughs> no. You can't <laughs> out-gay me, just saying. But what's funny is uh, Yellow Flash was just kind of like sitting there watching it, but his girlfriend was taking notes about everything Vic was saying for um, Yellow Flash's podcast. So... Mm-hmm. 
That's um, even the reason to keep her around. She's basically his producer. Yeah, but uh, right now, has that case kind of, has everything kind of, well, I don't really hear any attention on it right now, but I might not just be in that avenue. It's uh, it's still in the pills. So I really do think, I, I'm not, I don't really want to sound negative, but I really think that Vic's case is going to be dropped. I, I don't know. It depends what the appeals court does. Cases similar to Vic's has been ruled in favor and out of favor up till his. So we'll see. It just depends. I mean, here's the thing, though, and this is the thing that is whatever, and they, I guess, are whatever, the, the cases they're trying to defame him, right? Mm. And they're trying to, you know, lie on him and I things like that. I think he would get be at a better shot is if he comes out of the closet. I, I, I know he was probably not that... That'd be genius. <laughs> yeah. If he just says, how can I be harassing this man since I, have already, I came out of the closet? So this is just smear tactics. Yeah. Jamie Markey's are not going to come back. There's just not enough there. But I, I don't know how an appeals court can look at the Ron Toy and Monica Rialst. Funimation's also kind of iffy, but I don't know how a judge can look at the Ron Toy stuff and the Monica Real and say that this isn't defamatory. I don't know how that's possible mm. unless yeah. they just ignore it. Well, you remember the original thing was like, well, you're not really famous. Yeah. You know, their whole thing was like, you're not really famous. Yeah. And Funimation and Jerry Markey, I'm kind of iffy on, but all it takes is one of them to come back because if one of them comes back, then they can do discovery on all of them, mm. especially Monica Real, because even if Funimation gets dropped, they can still subpoena Funimation for this. Same stuff. See, this this is what I hate about legal shit is that's, and that's the thing about them is that they try to tie it up so much that the case loses steam and then everyone just kind of loses interest at that point. Yeah. And that's, I think, where their whole tactic is. But, I mean, it's whatever. Um, Vic is making plenty of money now. Still is making money. Made money during COVID. Just sucks that COVID happened. So that really kind of affected everything, courts and all that crap. Yeah. I thought it really did affect just everybody in general. Yeah, it really did. And and to tell you the truth, the way things are going, they're trying to put us back under lockdown. That's kind of what they're trying to do. I know. Honestly, look how the media doesn't slam Biden for anything that he does. And the dude is just up there spewing hot shit. You know, be careful what you wish for. And people got what they wish for. And it's not what they think it was. Do you just poke me with my back with your dick? Yes. Why? Because I was, I was just filling the moment, bro. I'm just looking at traps on my Twitter, damn it. So did it like rub against your neck and go, <laughs> not just a little, little <laughs> poke, like, what the fuck was that? Piece of paper or something? Well, no, normally, so my dick is actually Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> so, <laughs> every time I take off my pants, he goes, chugga, 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 chugga. Do you want to see, do you want to say who else we saw there or what other panels we did the show went to? Yeah, that's the whole point of the podcast. I know, but I'm, I'm just moving on to the next stuff. Oh, yeah, I got the schedule pulled up. Yeah. But today is actually a... It's the Sweep Weekend Patrol. <laughs> Sassy Sucks Saturday. Oh, hell no! <laughs> There's no penalties or anything, but I do have a question for each one of y'all based on the subject that you, you know the most about. So if you don't answer correctly, you're going to be looking like a retard. You're going to get a retard alert. So I got a sound effect ready for if you're a retard. I'm so gonna, you're going to ask us questions that we most likely know the answer to. I'm going to ask you questions about topics you know a lot about. Oh, but okay. I deep dived into those topics. I feel I, I hope I hope you get one uh, a good one for me because sometimes I feel like you do, you tend to think that anytime I say oh I like this person and you tend to go. All out thinking like I'm a diehard fan or something like that, and that's not really the case. Well, we'll start with you. We'll All see right. if you're a retard. Your question is about AEW. Mm-hmm. So your question is, who was the first AEW world champion? Uh, Chris Jericho. Okay. That fucking makes sense. <laughs> well, that was a little easier than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me go a little further. Uh-huh. Uh, who had the longest reign? Uh, in champion? Yeah. Uh, Kenny Omega? No. Kenny Omega is the lightest champion to hold the belt. Oh, man. I thought he's been holding it for like a year. Is it John Moxley? Yeah. 277 oh, days. Damn. Do you know who the shortest reign is? Oh, it's Chris Jericho. Yep. Well, there's only been three champions, but, you know. Go oh, ahead. And, I uh, didn't know that because I don't watch AEW. <laughs> yeah, actually, you're, you're bringing back some things the WWE did a while back that actually I want to comment on, but I'll, I'll not do that right now. All right. You ready, Anthony? Sure, Yours is ahead. about UFC. Oh, sweet. Go ahead. Who was Tito Ortiz's first loss in the UFC at UFC 148 by unanimous decision? I know it wasn't Chuck, because Chuck knocked him out. Actually, was it Randy Couture? It was not. Who was it? It was Forrest Griffin. 
Was it Forrest? Was it Forrest? Wow. I I didn't know he actually beat him like that. Yeah. Uh, Tito Ortiz did have a loss in Bellator to Liam McGarry. Yeah, Liam McGarry. He submitted him. Yeah. Yep, submitted. Yep. Correct. Yeah, it was Forrest Griffin. that puts his uh, full mixed martial art record to 16-11-1 when he lost (laughs) him. That's (laughs) terrible. Yeah. (laughs) What else? All right, Anthony. You ready? I mean, not Anthony. Whoops. Oh, I thought I got two questions. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I can continue with yours, too. No, go ahead. Dude. Just one question each. Go ahead. Well, you asked him two questions. That's why I asked. Yeah. Well, I just continued with his. Oh, okay. Oh. I had the more information. Uh, I guess, actually, I can ask you this. Who was Tito Ortiz's first victory in the UFC at UFC 132 with a submission? Man, you're asking some real old shit. Oh, actually, hold on. I messed up. Huh. I went the wrong direction. Forrest Griffin was his last loss in the UFC. Dang it. Look, starting from the bottom going up, I went from the top going down. So that was his... It's just, it's just a screenshot. Oh, okay. I went through it. Well, I messed up. I'm drunk. Okay. You fucked up! Yep. So you're the retard. <laughs> yep. I'll put a retard alert for me. No, you, you gotta overlay the retard twice and maybe add a little a little ear rape. Uh-oh! Uh-oh retard, retard, alert. Alert. retard alert! Retard alert! Retard alert! Class. Okay, let's, let's carry on with one. <laughs> All right, one... <laughs> What is Trap Felix's last name from ReZero starting life in another world? All right, I'm, I might be too drunk to pronounce it properly, but it's Argyle. How do you spell it? <laughs> Fucking motherfucker! <laughs> so it's with an A. Yeah, it, it is R- Argyle. <laughs> okay. That's it? That's it. God damn, that's the easiest question Oh, you hit the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm just like the... Mm. Um, I just make faces. Since I messed up Anthony's question, I guess you all got it right. Yeah, and if you would have told me, I would have prepared a question for you, but I really got nothing. I, yeah, I, th- I, th- make- I thought you were going to ask me the first, who was the first trap ever? I thought about that, but I looked them up, and it was a long time ago, so I didn't, yeah. It was like in the 80s. Uh, I was going to say the oh, most shit. biggest far back in the mainstream. 80s? As far as anime, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I think you're yeah, talking about You might realize the shit that we're doing now, or the shit that's around now, there was someone way back then doing it, just no one knew about it. Or, it was probably or it's not really widely most known. Most likely in the 80s, is what yeah. you're trying to say. The yeah, 80s was a weird time, apparently. Anime yeah. came to America in the 70s with Astro Boy and Speed Racer. But well, it didn't really get popular until Akira. Or Akira. Whatever well, it's pronounced. I thought Inuasha was the one that really kind of... Well, Dragon, Ball's, Dragon Ball... Dragon Ball Inuasha was main, one, of, one of the pioneers. Mainstream, but yeah, you had a lot of the animated movies. Wasn't it Dragon Ball just came. popular all over the world, But and it took like five or ten years oh. for it to get to America? Yeah. I'm also forgetting about Gundam. Uh-huh. And, oh, and yeah. Evangelion, too, was also Ghost a in the big shell. one. Well, no, I yeah, think, Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. I think Gundam's the same way with like Asteroid and Speed Racer. It was popular, but Wait, it wasn't Did you say like, Evangelion? They, yeah. I don't, okay. Back in the day, I don't even think they knew that Gundam was yeah, animated. Because I like, think Evangelion came out in like 92, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere around there. Well, I told you about back in the day when Akon first started, you know, the longest running anime convention, they used to bring their VCRs to hook up Daisy Chain to a TV. And if you were first in line, you got the first hookup because the more the DV, uh, <clears throat> the more the VHS players are connected to each VHS player, you get worse and worse quality. And then somebody would bring a VCR tape that they subbed the anime themselves, like mm-hmm. laid it over the stuff. Um, and then they would play it, and then you would press record on your VHS tape so you could take a copy home. Yeah. It, it's, like, yes, I can't wait to see the next three episodes of Dragon Ball Z. Well, it's actually crazy <laughs> how, like, mainstream anime is now. Like, you know, when we were younger, it was still kind of underground somewhat. Yeah, you And were, you remember back then, a lot of people would be like, oh, well, English subs suck, Japanese subs are better. I can kind of agree with you back then, but English subs have gotten so much better in the last... 11 years? It's ridiculous. Unless, unless they get political, that's where people get pissed off. Yeah, the dubs are, are, are terrible when it comes to that. Especially well, Miss Kobayashi. Yeah. God, all of them, all of them involved in Monogarillo and Jamie Martin. Right. Well, that's Seraph the end. As far as I know. You can Seraph my end. Seraph these nuts. Oh, man. There will be no syrup on any nuts <laughs> or butts in this house. <laughs> While we're here, at least. Uh, right. <laughs> So, um, what'd you say was your highlight of Monzuri? Meeting Nick was pretty cool for me, except that <laughs> I was kind of awkward around him. 
Yeah, you're kind of awkward around everyone. Dude, you can't be more awkward than when I was with... You uh, weren't the most awkward person. I'm like. talking here, you fucking moron. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, what you were trying to say... <laughs> oh, my God. It probably isn't that you're important. Hurtful. That's why I <laughs> That was just gibberish. I'm <laughs> fucking drunk. <laughs> Anyways, you can't be more awkward than I was with Leon and fucking uh, Vic. I was, okay, with Vic, I was not expecting him. Because it's the whole bullshit happened to him. Yeah. I didn't expect him to go be any cause. And then... Okay, so I went to, I already talked about this, the not, but I went to see Leon, and then I was like, make it excited, right? So my friends took me to the bar at the hotel to chill down before the panel. After I finished taking a shot, just out of the fucking blue, Vic just swooped past me. I'm like, I just paused. Like, the whole world just froze. Like, was that Vic? That was Vic. I turned around, I just yelled, Vic! Probably the wrong move, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Same thing happened with us. We were walking into the deal. I didn't use my super pass to get into the artist alley or the exhibition hall early because mm-hmm. I was with Efren. So we just walked in together right when the doors open, and Vic was going to the bathroom. Yeah, I'm assuming so. I don't know what else. Yeah, that's what I was assuming as well. Uh, and I was like, Vic Miana. He's like, Hey, yeah, what's your name? I was like, It's I'm the guy that bought all your stuff. And he's like, oh, Don, he hit my chest and I almost fell over. I started crying, bleeding out of my mouth. I was yeah. like, coughing up blood. <laughs> oh, you were like I that mad TV skit with Tito Ortiz? I, I misheard. Like, I, I thought you said Don and you said, oh, Don. I was I'm about like, to. I was like, it's Don. I'm the guy that bought all your stuff. Yeah, but when, it, I, when he actually called out, you're like, oh, that's really cool of him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would hope he remembers the two. Oh yeah, we've uh, Don. Uh, it, it's almost borderline stalkerish how much stuff Don has done for Vic. <laughs> it it kind of is. We're gonna be real right now. I'm surprised he hasn't pressed charges. No, <laughs> but I will say that at the uh, <laughs> at the Vic pan- panel, you weren't the most uh, embarrassing person. The two black guys. Yeah, the two black guys. They, look ju- they looked identical to. Uh, um, wasn't the guy Juan's- standing up in the videos? Yes. yes. There was another one that wouldn't stand up, but he was just as loud. They looked just like Juan's friends. Oh, man. Wow. And you, know, well, you know what? Let me tell you something, Efren. Uh-huh. So, I've always thought of myself as kind of a weirder person uh-huh. than the norm. Mm-hmm. And he'll attest to this. The first time we ever went to anime, it was an anime fest, right? Mm-hmm. The first time he took me. I only went like one day. Mm-hmm. I quickly realized I'm pretty fucking normal compared to a lot of people that go there. Yeah. There are some weird people there. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about like, no, I know you should you're... probably be in the hospital. Weird. <laughs> no, I, I know. I think the the best example I can think of is when two people are start uh, cat fighting or murf fighting. That's the thing that always comes to mind. I'm surprised I haven't seen anyone shit in a litter box out in the open. <laughs> just to tell you the truth. <laughs> or like the video where the guy's crapping in the bucket the guy's trying to mop the floor <laughs> with. No, but uh, that dude, I completely understand. Like, <laughs> no. if you really need to take a dump, or do you want to shit yourself, or do you want... No, you don't no. take a dump in the water of a janitor trying to clean the hallway. No, right. no, but that dude was genius. I, I think he did the right call. It's best... To shit in uh, somewhere that someone's going to clean up rather than shitting your pants. No, what you do is you go into a hotel bathroom and you crap on top of crap. No, he probably <laughs> had diarrhea. <laughs> he he oh, had man. diarrhea. <laughs> Only if you were speaking from experience. <laughs> All right, if you guys want to know real weirdness, look up DashCon. Yes, with the ball pit. But the- Efren, mm-hmm. I forgot to tell you. Oh, did yeah. some people die in that? Guess what? What's no. Up? Oh, I thought they did. No, there's a, there's a our- ball pit and it's filled with piss. <laughs> And people were playing it. Evan, remember we got our fifteen dollar credit at the uh, restaurant in the hotel. Yeah. So I got a full bill for that. So I called the hotel and uh-huh. was like, um, "I got a full thirty dollar bill. I was supposed to get a fifteen dollar credit." And they were mm-hmm. like, "Oh, well, you drunk two water bottles in the uh, in the hotel, well, so that didn't. equals fifteen exactly." So I was like, "Okay, all right. Uh, well, I'm going to contest that with the card, and I did. So uh, Mastercard gave me my money back." Nice. But we can't go back to that hotel. We got banned. Oh, that's fair. Well, you got banned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh huh. Well, well, technically, I can just put, I can just put it in my name, and you can just come as my yeah, guest. just come as your guest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and just uh, maybe give you like a, a little black pig mustache, and you'll be well. Upset. You know what, though, speaking from experience, I don't think I've been to any hotel with Dawn that we haven't had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's always like it just follows them. Hey, you almost got raped. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. That's that's the worst hotel story. We Gail. don't talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, Gail. I, I, I no. want to mention one more thing. I remember. <laughs> Credit to Vic Mignogna for not, you know, 
because if I was Vic, I would have just told those two people that were making a scene to leave or shut oh, he, up. He was like, don't come near me, man. I'm scared of you. <laughs> yeah, is that I mean, said? But, yes. but it, it is Vic's fault. He interacted with him and he, he bit off more than he can chew. Yeah, he shouldn't interact well, with him. Well, they talk about that. Like, if you ever go to the panels, like, especially when they're kind of... Can- That's my phone, I know. I, new phone, oh. I don't really not turn it off. So, okay. like, I was like, so, they talk about how people, especially in cons, they get impersonal with them because they do have these social disorders and stuff, so they don't understand personal space. Mm-hmm. And they don't understand that they're normal people like us. Mm. So the impersonal thing is kind of what happens. And, you know, they kind of have to navigate it and stuff like that because you don't want to disappoint a fan, but at the mm. same time, you're looking out for your safety. That did happen to, what's the uh, other person that we saw the panel with? Morgan Berry. Oh, Morgan Berry, yeah. yeah. She does that all the time. Do you, do, you wanna, do you want me to mention the Morgan Berry question I told her? Go ahead. Okay, so uh, we went to go see Morgan Berry and she wanted to do q and She was talking about... Oh, voice acting and stuff like that. Like, if anybody had any questions and people were asking questions about, oh, what mic quality do you need? Uh, do you need, like, a sound in an ear? Oh, where can I get uh, voice lessons or uh, where should I start? Wait, hold on. Before you finish. Uh-huh. Efren had his hand up the entire time before yeah. you hear what he asked. And I okay. was just, I had my questions set. And I was like, I'm going to tell you Oh, wait, this also, question. tell him who was the first person she said she called on. Oh, yeah, he called on you, Don. And I was like, right Number next to you. Number one fan, son. And I son. got really upset because Don, what he could have done is said, I got a question, and my friend next to me also has no, a question. No, because I knew your question was going to be spurtastic. Uh, you know, she was telling about scripts and stuff like that, and I was like, Miss Morgan Berry, do I need to know how to read? And everyone in the audience laughed. But since I didn't have a mic, no one heard it, and no one and the other side of the back of the audience didn't laugh. But she took it serious, and I'm like a little upset about it. But she thought she meant like dyslexic. Yeah, she thought she meant what well, well, dyslexic. So wait, what did you mean by it? He meant like can't read at all, like illiterate, yeah, like a literate retard trying to be a, a voice. His actor. goal was at every like thing to ask the most idiotic question. <laughs> Oh, so he does. <laughs> to be fair, the last day at Vic, I had my hand up because I was going to ask if he was going to launch his own line of gay pants. Because I would buy them. <sighs> Don't say that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, you should you should say spectacular pants. Okay. It really does suck that you know I can say a joke like that, and you know, uh, voice actors or any influencers like well, that. Well, because can't... they look at it as a re- well redundant question because ninety nine well, percent not... of people can fucking read. In, America, well, in some way, what, 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 in the some world. Way. what am I? What I'm trying to say is, I said a joke and, and she didn't. Uh, she took it as serious, and you know, with social media being like that, last thing she wants is like Morgan Barry made fun of someone's. Uh, she got backlash which, for being there. Well, so I'm the one that message, recommended yeah. her there. Mm-hmm. I, I told her in private messages that she should go, and I told John, the owner of Anime Matsura, I was like, "Hey, right. invite Morgan," because Morgan had said. That she doesn't mind going to a convention and wearing a mask, she just wants to go back to conventions and she would follow Annie's protocols that need to be done because her favorite thing is meeting fans. Because she didn't even get paid to go there. Mm-hmm. I right. was talking to her since she was a last minute guest and she's not an international guest or big. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna find a way to turn it off. That's why. Okay. Yeah. It was kind of a last minute thing, but they did have a lot of guests drop out because of international regulations, like coming from Japan and Korea. They couldn't quarantine themselves long enough. Mm-hmm. So they did let Morgan come, but on the on the agreement that she would keep all the money she'd get from autographs, but she wouldn't get paid from the con. Oh, so she had enough. to hope that she made more than the hotel and the plane ticket cost her. No, yeah, yeah. But so, still, she got to go to a con, but she did get a lot of backlash. And yeah. She actually asked me about that, and I told her I said, "Anime Watsuri, the reason why people don't like it is because they'll invite people that are controversial, mm-hmm. as long as they think they're all right." Like one of the jokes in the little. Uh, Anime Matsuri Facebook group was, yeah. oh, I can't wait to see Bill Cosby next year. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you know that dude's I can't, I can't wait for next Good. year. I would be, I'm trying to think of famous serial killer. You can cut that part out where I can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what, though? They're actually talking about, um, talking about people in jail and stuff like that. Oh, uh, you man. know, Joe Exotic might actually be getting out way sooner than we think. Bro, we I go back to Bill Cosby because <laughs> I can't wait for Ted Bundy to come to <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That fool jumped and broke his legs. I don't want to hear shit about that. <laughs> I watched the whole f- I watched two documentaries on that. Oh, the Netflix one and the uh, uh, ID channel 
And yeah. I'll tell you what, ID Channel sucked ass. Your freaking fiance is obsessed with I, I, I could have said Charles Manson, but no, Ted Bundy is always a funny one to bring up. <laughs> You know what? Actually, talking about that, I've been trying to find that like uh, TikTok filter that shows like your face and it'll show it to a famous person. One person did it. It goes to Charles Manson. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. I just cut off any uh, anybody I see on uh, any social media and just cut off half their face. And I just put any uh, bad influencer and I just put uh, "You killed the man, not the idea." And, I, and I've done it with someone with. Uh, I I done Hitler. I done uh, Charles Manson. I've done. Oh, what else have I? You done? know, you should just work for Russia as one of those fucking mean people. I wish I was paid by uh, the Russians, the Chinese. I still didn't turn it off. Or was the, that you? <laughs> what, I wish I was. Well, uh, there's somebody that actually thinks so. Uh, me, myself. Oh God, I'm getting the pain. I know. I'm trying. <laughs> Someone actually thinks I'm getting, because I'm trolling this dude, he thinks I'm getting paid by the Russians, the Chinese, white supremacists, white separatists, white something else, blue lives matter that don't support black lives matter. I'm like, and I wish I would be being paid by these many, uh... Carol, but I want to go back to Bill Cosby. Yeah. Because I got, I got into a heated argument with an older woman about this. Bill Cosby should have never went to prison. There wasn't any evidence against him. There wasn't enough testimony, and almost all of it was uh, statute of limitations besides one. A lot of people point at, during his depositions, he said, they asked, did you buy these drugs to have sex with women? Yes. He said yes. But, not to knock them out and have sex with them, he bought them as if somebody today would buy Molly to party with a girl, or buy alcohol to party with a girl, in hopes that they would have sex with them. Cool. It's not the same thing. Well, you know, it, it's it's what you're saying, and I understand. Yeah. And it's the same thing that, you know, um, what, what was it? Uh, Gerardo Navarro? Oh, what the hell was his name? I don't remember. Well, one of the one of the things they said, you know, that what happened was they, they tried to convict him on his character, not on the crime that he did. Yeah, same and, thing with Bill Cosby. And what's weird about it is the government, and this is their broken-ass system, if they know they can't touch you, which someone you know this happened to them, they know they can't touch you. Everything is beyond. They will literally, just because they know what happened, you admitted to it, they can't do nothing about it. They will find the most minute thing yep. and throw the, entire the book, book at you. At you. Yeah. But that's that's not fair. Yeah, no. That's not fair at all. I mean, yes, in a way, but like you said, you're judging the character. And who's to say if something happened 10, 12, 15 years ago... Yeah. That you're not a completely different person than that now. Yeah, if Should you, you have to pay for that? You already had that moment in your life and you know what you did. Yeah. So why why I stole a candy bar and I'm getting 20 years in prison for it? Yeah, if, if that, you read those court filings yeah. and watched those court dealings, Bill Cosby should have never been in jail. And luckily, the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania or whatever it was. Well, yeah, because he already made a deal time. with the previous DA yeah. that he would get, that he would get amnesty. right? Yeah, amnesty yeah. if yeah. he testified. And they didn't honor that. Yep. Mm-hmm. I bet you it's going to happen to the same thing to the guy that shit in the bucket. <laughs> oh my god. Pretty sure he made a deal with school. How did you like Farfetch? T- 10 or 15 years from now, he's going to probably, I don't know, be his wife and uh, they're going to bring that him shitting in a bucket <laughs> to the table. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the South Park episode where J- where uh, Jimmy was taking steroids and he's oh, all God. roided out and then they get they confront him about it so he beats the shit out of his girlfriend like runs down the hallway falls over and just starts crying. Mm. How, how did you like Farfetch? Yeah, the Farfetch animation. Again? Oh, um, it was okay, but uh, that panel was filled with a bunch of losers. True. And um, people that um, I would not hang out personally probably don't have Facts. jobs, probably taking advantage of the government. <laughs> and I think it's 90% of the people right now. No, but I really think it's probably mostly them. <laughs> and, uh, they're, the, they're the embodiment of what I would call cut that part of society off and let them die. So, have y'all heard about Hasman Hotel? I have. No. I Angel haven't watched Dust. it, but I know about Angel it. Angel Dust, yes. So, Hasbun Hotel is a great animation. It is a kickstarted funded animation for YouTube. I, I'm going to say one more thing. I have a lot of respect for animators, and I know that, you know, making just a simple one or two minute, or not not even that ten, minute, ten second animation is a bit of a, a hassle. And just imagine doing it for a major movie, or even like a 30 minute TV show. So, I do have respect for animators. And, uh, 
but just sometimes they have they, their uh, ideology is a little bit iffy. If that's how I would say. Well, that's what I was going to talk about. Yeah, so sorry. even though when you watch Farfetch, you can tell it is Tumblr liberal yeah. trash. Mm-hmm. It is really good. It it has a similar style to Has Been Hotel. It even has the same writer as Has Been Hotel. The difference is Ashley, the creator of Farfetched, excuse my Japanese, isn't a cunt. <laughs> uh-huh. Not yet. Vivian I hope not. of Has Been Hotel, garbage. Terrible person. Mm-hmm. So I like the product, but I can't stand her. At yeah. least this creator is somewhat decent human being mm-hmm. that can actually look at a societal problem and be like, oh yeah, I'm on this side of the the decision, but or on this side of the opinion, but you know. You know, all opinions matter. We'll have an open discussion. Vivian is not that person. <laughs> but I will say, I'm not, I'm, uh, you know, I, I did go on about how much I respect the animators, but uh, when we watched the, was it like a three or five, four minute preview? Uh, Yeah, it was an unfinished, uh, like, four minute and 30 second uh, preview of the mm-hmm. pilot. Yeah. Uh, I didn't laugh. And I really wanted to, when you were doing this thing, I really wanted to go up there and just... I wouldn't say ruin their day. I was just going to say, yeah. Oh, I ruined their day. I didn't say anything bad. (laughs) But I came up to them with a Donald Trump Keep America Great Again hat. Yeah, and your shirt. And then a Ron Ron Soy Hates This Shirt hashtag (laughs) I Stay With Vic. And two of those voice actors were were Funimation voice actors. Yeah, and they were really nervous about you. They They were. They they were were twiddling their thumbs when I was coming up to get the autographs. And they were kind of, like, shocked. But oh, then man, they, I would have loved the news, like, oh, Don funny. Hill flipped our table. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> just started uh, flipping the bird at all of us and saying that... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what happened is you us aggressively us. approached them. Oh, yeah, I walked up to them aggressively. And just said, like, we don't AKA do that Chris here. Bird. <laughs> we don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you walk to someone aggressively, but okay. <laughs> Speaking of, when me and uh, Efren were... Driving down to Houston, uh-huh. I was telling them a story about Antonio Meyer, hashtag docs, that he told everybody in our inner circle that I, I ruined his life and that I ruined their life. So one of the uh, ongoing jokes between me and Efren has been, Don Hill ruined my life. Don yeah. Hill ruined my life. So yeah, Farfetch is going to tweet. They're going to be like, Don Hill ruined our lives. Don Hill was saying Japanese to the Farfetch crowd. And he was doing it, uh, he was speaking to them unfluently, and he's over here being cultural appropriate in the Japanese. Here, here's what a <laughs> disgrace. <laughs> oh, yeah, two of them spoke Japanese, so yeah. I got to speak to them. Here, here's the weird part about this world today. We preach acceptance, we preach progression, we preach I don't. whatever. But no, that's what they <laughs> preach in the mainstream. <laughs> but I swear to God, these people out here are the most closed minded segregated people I've ever seen in my life, but they want to preach it, but anytime someone does something, they're like, oh, you can't do that. Why? You're not Japanese. You can't speak Japanese. The well, hell okay. said? <laughs> like, no, people do crap like that. Like, the whole thing where, like, Justin just, Bieber's hair and uh-huh. all this other shit. Okay, it's a hairstyle. Why do you care? It's co- cultural appropriation. Why do you care? Some of your ideas align with something that all of that you are hardcore are that everything, this and that. Everybody's down. Everybody has something from somewhere. Come on, you can't just. Be I've whatever. had a woman tell me that I am perfect. Besides Donald Trump, she just she can't get over but the fact why, that I voted why, for Donald Trump. But why do people have to be so butthurt? It's because it's not a poli- man that does not affect their life. It's not political anymore. They said uh, Donald Trump isn't a political opinion. It's a human's rights opinion. Yeah, no, go it's to not. China. Go no, to China and tell me about human rights. But I hate how people are these days. Where it's just like. Why is it just because you may have voted for someone, or like you said, more of your ideas align with that? Yeah. Why does that become an attack? Why does that now shun you? It's not an attack. They should, yeah, they should respect my opinions that I think that they're a joke. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, it may offend them, but you know, it's your opinion. You know, you're yeah. entitled to it. Well, it's just like I'm just Olympics. saying they're a joke. I'm not. I'm not saying like, uh, oh, cancel the <laughs> defund the U.S. It's Army. just like the Olympics. They're like, I can't believe the, uh, I like the U.S. Olympics. America basketball team lost to France, and I can't. They believe... They lost to France. Yeah. Are we out of the wow? Right Are we out of the running? Panel? I don't even know. That... And then the women's uh, soccer team, the best soccer team in the world, lost against Sweden. And you know why we lost? You know why we're what? losing? Why we're in third place in medals? What? We're sending people that are more interested in protesting the United States, kneeling during the anthem, mm-hmm. saying this and saying that, quitting, mm-hmm. 
Because those people don't have pride in America. We're sending those people over people that have pride in their own country. Well, basically, That's why we used to win. Well, we're not. There, Like you said, there's no pride in America anymore. We're yep. not sending the I best know. of the best. Because you know what's happening? The best of the best doesn't want to represent us anymore. Yeah. Why, why would they? Why? It, look at basketball, for example. The best of the best players we only have is basically KD. And that's yep. it. Yeah. And I freak, mean, not to say the rest of the guys are not... carrying his entire country into yeah. the playoffs. That's the thing, though. And it's not saying that the rest of the guys like Devin Booker, Draymond Green, all yeah, they're, they're not they're, great they're, players. They're yeah, great yeah, yeah. players. Yeah, I completely understand. But LeBron ain't going over there. No, because LeBron's cut by China. Yeah. LeBron's not going over there. Even our rookie MVP, uh, LaMelo's not going over there. We mm-hmm. can't even send our best track stars because they can't quit smoking weed. Mm-hmm. Oh, I find that really stupid. I did not that that. But she, thank, I think they only did that shit because of who how she was. But thank God, it's uh, not like other countries. They talk about the United States, but mm-hmm. most other countries, weed is illegal. You can't take yeah. substances and go to the Olympics. But thank God, I'm not a big fan of the Olympics. I'm more of a Winter Olympics. Kind also, of guy. I thought Russia was You're not so able. Queer. Huh? I like the Winter Olympics. I like the nobody s- watches the I, Winter Olympics. I love. The the only sport that I like in the Winter Olympics or the Olympics in general is skating. You know when they go like uh, NASCAR skating? That's so awesome. You should definitely get them onto your own ice. That is so awesome. Oh, like when they're over here turning and they're over here looking like uh, going like 65 miles an hour on the ice and that's so fucking yeah, You should awesome. definitely watch your own ice then. Are we sure I'm the gays in this, in this cast? <laughs> I mean, you jerked out the oh. trap, so no. Oh. <laughs> And Juan, speaking He's of, done more than that. so me, I was trying to get Efren to stay up with me to go to the strip club, uh, the strip show that you went to, the booty cheeks and the nipples and everything. Oh, I mean the the fucking crossdressers, yes. the drag queens, yeah. yes. And they actually pulled out of the show because of allegations that have come up recently, uh, because of the owner of the con, John, may have sexually harassed someone, <laughs> and after repeated emails to him asking about the truth that he denied to comment, we decided to pull out of the event. But we were leaving early because I had to go to church that day. The next day. Was it? No, oh, no we no, left no, no, early because no. I was hella bored. Because all the other stuff I wanted to go to was only leading up to that. Oh, oh yeah, that was on Friday. Yeah. Uh, because of uh, also the parking space. Which yeah. I I feel like that was a little bit. Of, oh yeah, there was the Astros game uh, halfway through the con, and which so was our seven dollar parking turned to thirty dollar parking, so we left. Mm-hmm. Oh, you talking about the con? I thought you about the club. No, we are talking about the. We're well, was that the con? Yeah. But it was a uh, strip yeah. show. Oh, that yeah, that talking one. Talking about Houston, so uh, Allie, S4. So Ali's girlfriend uh, Danielle. Have you met Danielle yet? Uh, one time, yeah. yeah That's the so, one they can't hear. Yes, so you know she's from Houston. Yeah. And you remember when we went down to Houston, and I actually told her something. I, I, this sounded really offensive when I said it, but I was being completely serious. I was like, you know, being from Dallas, we only know Dallas. I said, honestly, me and my friend Don thought no one cared about Houston sports, period. And I was like, until <laughs> we saw the guy with the fake leg, with the Texan fake leg. Do you remember that? Yeah. Inside the store, I was like, I, I, was, I thought no one cared. Yeah. I mean, you both looked at each other. And was like, damn, they really care down here. They really care about it. I didn't, well, I still don't think the Houston's uh, Houston Astros mattered until they cheated and then won the World yeah. Series. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they still kept their trophy. They did. Yeah, no. That, okay, talking about that, like in the Olympics, uh, supposedly Russia was actually not able to compete in this Olympics, mm-hmm. and because of the Sochi Olympics and the cheating scandal and the swip, uh, swiping the piss and everything. Mm. Um, they were supposed to like they could they could compete in the Olympics, but they were supposed to be unassociated athletes. Mm. But for some reason, out of nowhere, they, they let dropped. them compete. Yeah, they got most likely got dropped, which is stupid. I and mean, it was state it was state funded. Yeah, yeah. it was state funded. Yeah, I, instead I, of <laughs> Russia, they I were the surprised. Russian Council of Olympic Athletes or something. <laughs> yeah, because what year was Sochi? Sochi was. Working? No, sorry, Sochi was important. The that Winter Olympics, right? No, it oh, was the Summer Olympics. Oh, I'm sorry. Nobody cares about the no, Winter Olympics. No, actually, was the Winter Olympics? I don't remember. <laughs> I just know it was Sochi. Was it in Russia? It was in Russia. Sochi, so Russia. So it was Winter Olympics. So it probably was the Winter Olympics, yeah. Yeah, uh, that yeah was... so it was like uh, 16, maybe? No, 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 not 16. No, 14. Uh, it was 14. 14, 14, yeah. Because uh, 2016, that was Trump, and that was... Uh, yeah, so Rio was the yeah, one that Rio. they weren't supposed to compete in. And I think they still got to compete, and then they got mm-hmm. to compete in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Winter Olympics. 
I just don't think people care about the Olympics the way they used to. No. Nope. At all. Because mm-hmm. there's far more entertaining stuff to watch. Well, you, well, I'm not trying to like sports wise, but just in general. Uh, that's why I think, uh, you know, wrestling's uh, sort of not popular because yeah. people, people are finding other medias that are getting, well, there's fan bases. There's well, the one that's really getting me is uh, our friend Danielle actually works for the WNBA. She works for the mm-hmm. Dallas Wings, and I was telling her how this year, unlike any other year, the WNBA's actually been getting attention, and they've never really gotten attention before that. Why? I don't know why. It's okay, because I'm the press manager for the North Texas Bulls. No one gives a fuck. AAL 2021 champions. Where that ring at, though? Oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. They just designed it. I'm ready. I'm going to wear this big, giant ring on my my fist. Mm-hmm. So when I hit people now, preferably at the House of Blues, it makes them work. You sound like MJF. Anyways, we're going to do a call out. Bring that ass here, boy. Wow, that ass is amazing. Bruh! Sponsored by the No Community, where rent is just cheap enough for you to eat. We clapped her cheeks just right. I'm gonna call out that Star Wars girl since uh-huh. Cometown didn't comment on our last video. I'll I say our last video. Wait, what? Come oh, Town. I, oh, yeah, I didn't listen to the video. <laughs> yeah, I no, called no. out Cometown last time. Oh, you time. called out Cometown? Yeah. I mean, for we're... being racist. <laughs> <laughs> Our last video was fucking hilarious. It by was. Life. It was actually really funny. Yeah, it was uh, very funny. Other podcasts? I'll, I'll probably listen to it. But now I'm calling out that Star Wars girl that we okay, saw in cool anime Matsuri. It was too drunk. She was hungover. Mm-hmm. She's most, pretty though. It was most likely Gator's fault. Because... It's not Gator's fault. Who the Stop Gator? bringing in. Ga- <laughs> so me and Efren have this argument about two people. It's funny. Being- one is named Gator. Yeah. And one is named PPP. Yeah. He thinks PPP is funny. Yeah, yeah. Despite funny. PPP being this guy that's hyped up by his roommate that nobody knows, and he's kind of autistic, and he kind of goes on rants and docks people, and basically is shunned by the people. entire internet. And then you have no. Gator, a funny comedian. He's not funny. That is interesting. No, he's not. Has, uh, unique he's a stories, fat fuck. similar to like Who Joe Rogan or like Alex Jones. No, very he's engaging over exaggerating person. People. Yeah, no, so. do not believe. This he man's actually responds lies. to his fans on Twitter and said, "If you want you to link to, I want you to link Gator's stream and I want you to link PPP stream, and I want the audience to decide. They will, it, 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 yeah, Gator, of course. No, they're gonna because you know what? Actually, okay, funny. okay, you know what? If if Gator gets the most likes uh, because of that, it's most likely your audience is retarded. And it, <laughs> yeah, see, so it doesn't even matter. No, because we're gonna be like Gator. I would never want to be like PPP. We just fell automatically. What's wrong with PPP? Sure." He showed his butthole on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did I hear this? But it okay. Was all, but it was ironic, guys. It was all for the Did meme. you see the last, the, uh, the, the season finale of Little Dicky's show, David? Remember when he showed his balls to the crowd and got sent to prison? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. okay. So, so <laughs> Efren, there's, there's no such thing as tasteful butthole. Okay? That doesn't Trust exist. Me, you, I've tried. <laughs> yes, and he petrified me. <laughs> I was I can vouch for this. It's not that it's tasteful, it's that it's funny. I mean, he also cornered my old roommate Elvis into a corner and showed him his butthole. And as he tried to escape gro- by the back As this grown man screamed as he was hitting the floor. It was uh, pretty dramatic. Or traumatic. And then I showed my butthole to the entire um, dog of Corpus Christi. <laughs> Which I almost drowned because I was so petrified in the fucking mm-hmm. water. Yeah. My butt was oh, I remember this. <laughs> we were all drunk in the water. Fucking yeah. girls gone wild looking ass. Actually, yeah, because I remember looking over and I see his ass come up <laughs> out of the water. And back then, he had long ears, so like it. So it reminded me when this happened. It reminded me just about girls gone wild, like freaking Daytona Beach edition, where they're like jumping up in the water, showing their ass and stuff. Anyway, I, I don't know how we got into this whole Gator and... <laughs> okay, uh, Efren, any that. last comments about Anime Matsuri? Um, mostly everyone is just... Um, I mean, I'm not no. trying to sound mean. They're, they're just losers, and um, just, you know, the people there... If, if you ever see, like... I saw, like, so many uh, fat dudes next to, like, the skinny girl that w- wasn't even that attractive, and just, like, I really wanted to go up to... Mostly all of them, and just sell them. Uh, you're not gonna sleep with this girl, just, uh, uh, you know. The girl that walked around with the sign that said, I'll step on you for free? Oh, the Facebook girl? No. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't too concerned I'm still about sad that. that I didn't get stepped on her, bear. 
Okay. Um, whatever. Wish you had at least. To... They look decent. Yeah. And now the I mean, uh, the anime babes or uh, anime Matsuri babes, which is a group, right? Uh, they'll also step on. Yeah, as well. we'll, we'll also they have talk, heels, though. We'll also talk about off camera what we talked about in a private message about anime Matsuri and people that look okay. <laughs> but uh, since it was my first time, uh, you know, it was it was all right. Uh, I would not hang out, uh, hang out around. I hang with these people, but, you know, I had a good time. I enjoyed myself. I know most likely want to go no, again. To Anime Fest? Yeah, oh, yeah sure. They, they yeah, may feel go. the same about you. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Anime but Fest I, has been uh, officially announced for December 2021. Yeah, so I guess me, Efren, and, and Juan are going. But I will actually, say that I, I'm most likely not going to watch anime. Yeah, actually, so. I think I think my son will be old enough that we can probably take him. He might actually be okay. Well, it's up to you. He's going to be... Well, he's getting better. <laughs> I, I really don't think influencing with you know the smell and just the people around would be good for your child. Well, the best thing about well, yeah, he well, can still be smell. December, so at least they won't be sweating. Oh yeah, you're right. But what about the costume? Was it was the smell real bad? Huh? No, but I got that heavy sweat vibe, like that heavy mist vibe. Yeah, I mean my nose still isn't 100, percent so I still really can't. <laughs> I can smell like peppery, musty smells, but that's kind of in the forte of the only things I can really smell. Yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna end it here. Arigato gozaimasu. Have a nice golden talk to Madras Poyo. Hey, thanks for listening to today's episode. Please check out our other podcasts on the channel, such as The Knot, where we have bite-sized topics and conversations that anyone can enjoy. There's more to come, so subscribe and ring the bell. We don't want you missing out on any future content. Now, if you can excuse us, your mum is changing upstairs. We'll see you next time here on The Sweep Podcast and only on YouTube.